Hello, my name is Adam Hughes. I'm an application engineer with Go Engineer, and today we're going to take a look at how we can post process our CamWorks or SolidWorks Cam features, toolpath features. Take that G code and send it to a Tormach PC and C770 or 1100. First off, I'm tackling these counterbores that I put on the back side of this uh, mold base. Just as a reference, this is going to be split along this, uh, this side here about an inch down and these are going to bolt these together. So here's my series of uh, features that allow me to uh, generate the, the toolpaths here. And we're going to go ahead and simulate this just so you get an idea about what this looks like. We'll just play this at the uh, fastest speed so that we can get to the end here. And you can see I started with indexing the, the drilled holes and then you know drilling several holes and creating the counter bore followed by the thread mills. Let's go ahead and take a look at what that thread mill actually looks like there. It's actually really neat. This is my first attempt at it and it was successful for thread milling. Uh, a kind of bonus to this too is you don't have to have any special holder um, and a thread mill. And generally speaking, a carbide you know, thread mill can be used for quite a few different thread callouts or specifications. So whether you're running uh, inch or metric, you can use that for a couple different uh, uh, thread taps. Cool. So now that we got that taken care of, and we see that all the tool paths kind of line up and uh, you know subtract the geometry that we're looking for, we're ready to post process this. And before I hit the post process button, um, one of the things that we have here at Go Engineer is the post processor for SolidWorks Cam or CamWorks for uh, you know PathPilot or Mach 3 for a PCNC 1100 or 770. So now I'll go ahead and post-process this. And all of our G-code is generated. See it lines up the, the tools you need so you can check your offsets. And a really great thing about PathPilot too, a uh, really nice uh, feature, especially for when making molds, is that you can select uh, you know, various lines and set that as your start point. All right, this is just Notepad, but in PathPilot you can just select a line, right click, and say select as starting line, and it starts from from that exact line of G code there. On a secondary note, I gotta say I'm super happy with my Tonemach 770. Uh, I can do all kinds of great stuff with it, and I can hold really good tolerances. X and Y I'm able to hold better than five tenths, better than what I can measure with a pair of calipers. And as far as the cost per performance ratio goes, I gotta say a Tormach is a heck of a lot of bang for the buck. I'm so pleased with my purchase. Not to mention their technical support is outstanding. So if you're in the market and you're thinking about adding a mill to your garage, uh, make sure you check out Tormach and uh, make sure you hit up uh, SolidWorks and Go Engineer for all your cam and programming needs. This is Adam Hughes with Go Engineer. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.